And as I started looking at it, I realized this is a story of unbelievable takeover of our country. It's not just refugees coming in and taking uh, blue-class factory jobs or middle-class jobs with H-1B visas. No, they're coming in and they're taking over our entrepreneurship. They're taking over American businesses. They're taking that role and shutting us down using their connections in Washington. This guy's company, Chobani Yogurt, is a good example of this. And when you look at the small town, Twin Falls, Idaho, which, as you may not have connected the dots, was the place that we heard of back in June where you had that five-year-old girl who was raped by a group of juvenile uh, refugees in that city. It was covered up by the media. It was covered up by the local government. And you say, why were they doing that? Eventually, the truth did come out. And yet, the reason for that is because you've got this guy coming in and putting in the world's largest yogurt factory in a very small town. And he's bragging about how he's got 30% of his employees there are refugees. They speak 11 different languages. I told my wife, I said, you know, he says, I've got translators for these 11 different languages there 24-7. And I said, it would be a lot cheaper, wouldn't it, just to teach them English? But he wants these people to be captive to him, doesn't he? That's By right. keeping them to hire Americans. That's another wacky idea that I'd have. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> Maybe, I don't know, maybe maybe like the veterans I've interviewed who applied and couldn't get a job there. Oh, wow. Yeah. And if you think, let's think about that irony for just one second. We, we have these uh, global interests who start wars uh, like the war in Iraq, let's say. Let's use that as an example, okay? Mm -hmm. A war that was supported by both Bush and Clinton. Not to be a conspiracy theorist, but that's just a fact, right? That's right. Um, then they, the war creates a situation where you have refugees. Does that make sense? So they've started a war, mm -hmm. ruined the country. Mm -hmm. Now people want to flee the country. Then those people come to this country and take jobs that veterans of that war can't get. Yeah. <laughs> think, think about that. And you're yeah. exactly right. The reason, it's not just wages, because the obvious thing is people go, well, they can pay them less or whatever. And that's, you know, true to some extent. They can, you know, they're, they're not as likely to you know, uh, rise to the ranks and, you know, want m more pay, they need to work. And I know that we even reported on how some of the uh, elected officials there said that they could press charges against anyone who would dare speak to the media or talk about, put stories out there, even on Facebook, yes. about these refugees who raped this five-year-old girl. They want to protect so much uh, the refugees that are coming in to work at this plant and one of the at the expense of the, their citizens there. I have to put this in real quickly. They have a 500% increase in tuberculosis. 